Alrighty, as you can tell on my YouTube channel, there's a lot of videos that are out, of course, starting January 1st. I've got the numerology for 2021. I've got the astrology predictions for 2021. I've got a January um, astrology for 2021. I've got the in, uh, intuitive patterns for the month of 2021, which is the card reading. And... Um, I'm going to be doing a, uh, a Chinese astrology for 2021 because we're in a metal ox position and um, that's that's good. It's actually really good, but it's just it's another whole level. So and I'm going to now do the intuitive predictions for the year of 2021, which basically means I'm going to be using all my decks of cards. So I'm I'm dealing with uh, three, six, seven decks of cards. Um, and I lay them all out and I pick a few cards for each one and then I will go into the meaning of each of these cards as it relates to 2021. So you've got a whole bunch of ways to look at 2021 and because people wanted me to dive even further into some of the astrology for 2021, I'm actually going to do a more in-depth one of those also. I mean, some people don't, don't have a uh, an ability to look at a video for more than five minutes, much less mine are usually about nine minutes. And um, and then if I really dive into the astrology, it could take 19 minutes or 20 minutes. And so I appreciate everybody uh, enjoying all the different versions and options that maybe, you know, are you're drawn to in some way. But this one, we're going to use all the different decks of cards. And so I use the Osho Zen Tarot, and in this uh, particular spread, I got the Ordinariness card, Courage, and Flowering. In the Healing Earth Tarot, I got the Two of Feathers, the Ten of Rainbows, and the Ace of Feathers. In the Ancient Egyptian Tarot, I got the Strength card, the Eight of Cups, and the World. In the Medicine cards, I got Ant, Squirrel, and Moose. In the Aleister Crowley Thoth Tarot, I got the Knight of Swords, the Ace of Swords, and Disappointment. And in the Mayan Oracle, I got Organic, Balance, and Seeb. And in the Words of Truth, I got Senses, Sensitivity, and Indulgence. So, um, for some reason, we're going to do like, like the short and sweet version um, of these cards. And I'm going to take them one at a time because some people like to learn as we go along, okay? The Ordinariness card, um, I think if, if we didn't learn anything in 2020, it was about to really appreciate the simplicity in life and the more ordinary things in life and that family is really important and maybe going on a picnic is more important than the fancy events or the fancy trips. Um, 2021 is going to continue that pattern. I think that we can't really go back exactly to where we were and so we're still going to be practicing homey things ordinary things the courage card is an image of a seed sprouting and that when a seed sprouts it's the most courageous moment for it to actually sprout and it has to just go for it so there's this feeling that we're all in this place that we need to take that leap and we have to have the courage and we have to go for it not knowing if we'll succeed or fail but then we do have the flowering card, which says actually we will succeed and there will be a flowering and an opening happening. Um, the Two of Feathers um, basically is pointing out that um, we have to find a better balance um, in our mind. The Ten of Rainbows is basically bringing hope um, into the possibilities. The Ace of Feathers is actually saying we need to stand up for what we believe in. The Ancient Egyptian Tarot, the Strength card, says that, um, again, it, it's going to take a lot of effort. You know, what we have in front of us is going to take a tremendous effort from everybody. The Eight of Cups says that we're kind of leaving this drug-induced um, stagnation behind and um, that people are literally going to get on a ship and leave. You know, we have to, yeah, you know, float away or take a trip away from this dark energy. Um, and then the world card says we need to come together as one. The medicine cards, Ant says you need a lot of patience. Things are going to go slow. They're not going to go quickly. Squirrel basically says we need to gather up information and knowledge and, and stuff to keep ourselves safe and protect ourselves. And the moose says that we need to really bellow our call and we need to speak up for what's right and what is true. 
The Aleister Crowley Thoth Tarot, the Knight of Swords, says that we need to be active, skillful, clever, delicate, and courageous. The Ace of Swords says Michael the Archangel is going to cut away the dead wood and anything that is not truth is going to be dismantled. And then there's the disappointment card because I think so many people really still have like a PTSD about the last four years and so much disappointment in people and, um, you know, their belief systems and, and how hurtful that they can be. Um, the Mayan Oracle Organic Balance says that we need obviously a better, more organic balance with our with ourselves and the earth. And Seed says that um, we are on a journey and we don't necessarily know where that journey is going to take us, but we need to go on a spiritual journey. And the word of, the words of truth says it's time to come to our senses. Um, the sensitivity card says we have to look at the harm that we've actually done um, to others um, with our lack of sensitivity and that we need to kind of indulge in um, taking care of each other. So that's the short, sweet version of all of it, but let's dive into it a little bit more deeply. We arrive at 2021 with the cards reflecting the tremendous shifts that so many have been calling for throughout 2020. And while there is much to do and many things to navigate, we are on a healing trajectory. It seems as if we are slowly coming to our senses. It seems that the world has tilted once again away from insanity and towards responding to the deep feelings and sensitivities that have been broken open in the atmosphere of deception and hate. Finally, there is a shift towards addressing the indulging. Uh, 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 there's a uh, there's a shift towards addressing and indulging in the goodness rather than all the negativity. Something that I find a welcome relief. Such an extreme imbalance for the last four years forces a counterbalance, and in this case, it seems to be really looking at how much how how so much scary venom and hate has caused deep psychological scars and versions of PTSD that have manifested as a global pandemic. We are beginning to see that we are the problem. Therefore, we also can be the solution. The Mayan glyph Seeb represents the mystical emissary of solar consciousness. He brings wisdom by ushering in grace. Seeb teaches trust. The type of trust where you learn to become one with the path that you are on. It is also about recognizing that your path is yours alone and no one person or spiritual belief system can encompass all the steps that you may need to reclaim your connection to your highest self or the divine. Seeb teaches that the path is not out there but inside you. That is the only perfect path. It is about trusting what your heart tells you rather than words on a page voices of influence, or laws of a land. All such things are made by man and therefore susceptible to distortion from egos that intend to hijack great teachings for their own wealth and power. Your spirit knows the way. All we have to do is to learn to follow that energy and let it lead us through our own karmic maze and into a more enlightened state of being. With the strength card, it will be it will be a challenge for some to rem to rein in their emotional, reactive side and their passionate nature. The proper response to the raging beasts within men is gentleness. The rashness of our national youthful nature is at an end. We can no longer act like spoiled, self-important, petulant children. It is time to grow up and into a more conscious and evolved society. Pride and ignorance have been in control for too long. It is time for a change, and this year is that beginning. We are moving into a place where we have to regain moral control over a society out of control. We will witness a tremendous amount of diplomacy, patience, and endurance to appease those whose hearts hold still so much rage and anger. The world card shows us that we are truly at the end of an era. That alone stands as, pow as a powerfully fulfilling promise, a definitive choice, and an undeniable fact. With the Eight of Cups, there will be those whose intent is to thwart all forward progress. 
there will be a feeling that the stuckness of 2020 wants to cling to our clothing and try to piggyback on us to get into 2021. But there will be those that see the ship at the dock ready to sail towards a new world, and many will rise up and step onto that ship even if they do not know where it is going. That movement will feel better than anything from our recent past. The only solution is the problem to the problem is change. Ant reminds us that we need to work for the good of the whole, not the few. It is time to look at what it is that we really need and let everything else go. 2021 is not a time to be in a hurry. Those that are greedy will try to grab as much as they can while they can because they know the part, the party that they have been so entitled to is coming to an end. Moose indicates that we are finally kicking a very bad habit. That thing had to be fought for to earn the energy and respect of Moose. Take a moment right down, right now and write down as many things as you can that you did accomplish in 2020. Really notice the tremendous effort and presence that you put into things that you never thought you could do. Feel good about that progress and remind others through encouraging words and choices. While Moose tends to be quiet most of the time, when they are in season, everyone knows that they are in the area. Their call is one of the powerful calls of the wild. Let yourself celebrate with others who shifts uh, the uh, with others whose shifts in perception are now more fully integrated. We are hearing a call that needs to be heard and to be taken seriously. Those that ignore those calls are going to find themselves in trouble quickly. Squirrel reminds us that the safety we seek is not found in the external world, but it is always found in an untroubled heart and mind. When you make well-planned choices, you have much less to fear. When you are prepared and willing to do the work ahead of time, you can weather things, you can weather times of difficulty. There is much to do and many actions to take, but it is advised that we have some semblance of a plan before we move ahead. Business, as we know it, will never completely be the same again. We cannot go back, nor do we really want to. The time has come. The seed within us is sprouting. We cannot go back into that seed pod. So surrender into the fact that there is no choice, only the choice to be courageous and allow yourself to become that which you came to be. You do not need to know what that is. You only need to give permission to yourself to find out. Thanks everyone.